so posh, Cameron, that he's not playing air guitar, but he's playing air lute. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Cameron going? So then the black guy says to the waiter, he's standing right there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Incident, it? <laughs> <laughs> Is he saying, I'll be home late tonight, this one's dragging me out for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Is this proof that leaders are shape-shifting lizards? That's Cameron Obama and Angela Merkel. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, uh, I've been telling him how you're all going to help me catch the known terrorist, Abu Ghaveni. <laughs> <laughs> One of these fellas at the Bullington Club they used to bring us drinks and play some jazz piano. No, what the actual answer is. It's a NATO summit which is being held in Newport. Yes, indeed. Well done, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. This is a picture of US President Barack Obama and Prime Minister David Cameron during the recent NATO summit held at the Celtic Manor Golf Club and Hotel in Newport, South Wales. The summit marks the first time that a serving American president has visited Wales and talks are dominated by Afghanistan, the situation in Iraq and the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. I love the idea that lots of world leaders, their first thing they see of Wales is Newport. <laughs> It is basically, isn't it, if you go there, strip club takeaway, strip club takeaway. If you're a lap dancing chef, you get a lot of work in New York. <laughs> Did they mean to meet in New York, but just have an autocrack nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> what security measures were implemented for the summit? Oh, there was a, a, a ring of steel. And the camera used Ah, uh, which what was, was that? A fence. Yes, a fence, yes. <laughs> Big they, uh, what they did, they put a fence around, they put it around Summer Cardiff as well, around the castle. Which they should have just, it's a castle. <laughs> On reflection, you know, you're right, there is a rather large wall uh, as part of the castle. <laughs> but they had like SWAT teams, and to 2 a.m. on a Friday night in Cardiff, I want to see the hen party versus SWAT team kick off. <laughs> Yeah. What did Barack Obama do immediately after the summit? He did a rather extraordinary thing, which was he got his, he's got his own helicopter, it's called Marine One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Marine One was flying him, I think, to London, and he made it stop on the way because he wanted to see Stonehenge. He said it was the highlight of his tour. That is Newport for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> he's also... He's also bloody lucky that when the helicopter landed, it didn't blow all the stones out. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. He said it was part of his bucket list. Yes. But uh, it's good that Barack Obama's bucket list contains school trips I did as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I hope going to Cheddar Gorge and Wookie Hole are also his bucket list. <laughs> Barack's no stranger to wonders. I mean, he himself is an unarmed black man in America who's never been shot by the police. <laughs> Do you know what I did like about the whole thing, though? What did, what did you like about the Some thing? of the entertainment that they had. What did they have as entertainment? Well, one of the things they were entertained by, Prince Charles's official harp player. <laughs> huh? That's badass. Because you can think about it. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big royalist, but when you've got somebody like Obama rolling into town, there's not many other world leaders can sort of outdo him, you know. You've got but to go guy, royal on his ass, you know. This guy. Nobody else has got Air Force One, Marine One, or anything like that. But you can still go, have you got your own official harpist? <laughs> That's pretty you sweet. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you have your own dream sequences? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, he's the, but he's the Prince of Wales. Why doesn't he just have whale music? Surely that's more his thing. <laughs> Is he not that kind of Wales? No, he's not the Prince of all <laughs> Wales. It's not like... It's not like Beastmaster. Uh, I call forth the whales! <laughs> with them and my official heart with... <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I've misunderstood that for 40 years. <laughs> Even this photo, I like to think he's just said, what, Congress won't let you have your own harpist? Baby, pay him something. <laughs>
house. Only the Prince of Wales could afford. We had a harp in our house. How Irish are you? I'm unbelievable Irish. <laughs> I am the most Irish person of all. Come dance with me in Ireland. Uh, I'm with a harp in the house, yeah. With the poor children of your town allowed to come and play the harp. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they, have their own. they would dance as I played. They would dance as I played. <laughs> Now as the Pied Piper of Dublin. Very much so. Yeah. Keeping the kids away. Their green culottes. <laughs> there will come a court case when they will replay this as evidence. <laughs> I come from a very different world. Uh, <laughs> Did you have anything? Do you have clothes that you could put on when you were playing the home? No, I played in the naked. <laughs> He's, he's straddled, he's straddled the heart naked, a leg on either side, right? But you, you hold your genitals close into the rampage so, so they're not there. And not, then you, and if, you're drunk, if you're drunk, you just bang it with your lad. <laughs> bing, bing, bong. Oh, no. Bing, bing, bong. I challenge you all, none of you who can play the heart with your penis, but I am. None of you! Is there a man here who can play the heart with penis? <laughs> you just call it your lad. Your lad, that's what you call it. <laughs> Playing country, that's what you call it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was looking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively sexually. Come on! <laughs> what on it? What on it? She's <laughs> playing a harp with an organ. <laughs> <laughs> Psychologically, this is doing me the world of good. Because my dad was a bishop, so I used to spend quite a lot of my childhood dressing up as a bishop. And I thought I was weird. <laughs> have you still got a harp? I don't have a harp. There was a harp in the house when I grew up. The, 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 and still there. Like, so now you have to go into, like, music shops to do it and stuff. <laughs> well, I, might, so, I might buy it. I might buy it. <laughs> Someday. Sir, could you please at least wear a condom? <laughs> Other people have been trying that hard. You don't want to get harpies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the knee uh, Well, that's the NATO summit coverage. <laughs> This show, this show, man, it makes some points. It makes some points to, to territory. You know. what, what's wrong, Britain? Too much truth for you? Yeah. Wake up, sheeple. Uh, lifting the wool from your eyes. Uh, and uh, with our Josh, Captain, and Andy.